you're still watching ways now today is a lip day it comes only once every four years so if your birthday is today party very hard because <laughs> it will only come in another four years i know someone that's his, his birthday is today um corridor bello oh really yes oh wow um Jaru also oh really nice. <laughs> that's nice i don't know anyone I know, at least I know our old celebrity, Coro de Bello, his, um, his birthday is um, today. Well, happy birthday. So, happy birthday. Yeah. Okay, so today we're talking coronavirus all the way. All the way. And I think Uti would start with establishing the story because we want to look at it from all angles. We're looking at it from the Asian region. Mm -hmm. We're looking at it from Europe and we're also looking at it from, um, what's it called, Africa. Africa. All the findings and what we found in the news. So, Uti, you have the floor. <laughs> okay, so um, this kicked off on the 31st of December last year um, and China started to report uh, some pneumonia type, respiratory type illnesses uh, and then um, they sort of identified the Wuhan seafood market as potentially where um, this could have come from and then the market was closed and from that point on, uh, I think January the 5th, they started to record more and more cases and we've now got into the point where um, China is leading, okay. of course, with the most. So as at today, or as at yesterday, which is the 28th, we now recorded uh, 833,000 cases, hmm. 652 confirmed cases globally. And out of that, we have China with 78,961 confirmed cases. And 330, so that's 331 new cases in the last 24 hours. Between, that's China. As at yesterday with China. Um, outside of China, we have 4,691 confirmed cases. Uh, about just under a quarter of that was new uh, within the last 24 hours. But I like to... It seems like it's all doom and gloom when you listen to the numbers. Uh, there was the whole issue with the doctor who raised uh, the, the alarm blower. about it, the whistleblower, who sadly uh, passed, uh, passed, passed away as on. well. I believe that was on the 6th of, uh, of this month of February. So it's, um, I like to look sometimes, or for me, I like to find the positives. So the World Health Organization records that 36,771 people have recovered. Wow. In awesome. China. That's fantastic. So there is, um, if you look at the percentages, it sounds like a, a large number, but out of 84,000 people, or nearly 84,000, we have uh, just over 3,000 deaths. Mm. So percentage-wise, that's about 3%. Yeah. So again, if we wanted to start going down the list of diseases like malaria, like HIV, you know, all those stats are a lot higher. Mm. But of course, there is an urgency to this, given the type of disease that it is and the way that it spreads that we'll be you know, talking yeah. about. So you had another news for us. So yes, yeah, so uh, the index case for Nigeria is the Italian man who uh, flew into the country on February 25th. And he is um, being held at the, oh, I say held, he's quarantined at the Infectious Disease Center yeah. in Yaba, and he's complaining. So the headline says he attempted to escape. It's a bit sensational. But um, he's complaining about the quality of the facilities. Um, you know, Nigeria, I, I, I think that we're doing a great job. Uh, I think that we, we should be lauded for what we've managed to do so to do far. So far. Uh, I don't want to bash uh, the government in this case because even the World Health Organization has agreed that Nigeria is one of the most prepared in Africa and is really positioning us to be the beacon for West Africa. So um, I want to laud that. But yes, he's complaining about the facilities. Uh, let me be a Nigerian here. You came to my country. You imported a disease into a country of 200 million people, you can deal with some inconvenience. I'm telling time. you, <laughs> I think can. so too. <laughs> so Isi, what did you find for us? You were focusing on the African region, right? Yes, I yeah. am. <laughs> so um, currently what we discovered is that um, the first, um, after the episode of um, the issue in Wuhan and the rest of the world, it now came down to Africa, the continent of the black people. And what we discovered is that it was um, first recorded in Egypt, okay. Egypt, but they didn't state who actually brought it into or imported the disease into Egypt. And this was uh, in um, February of, um, February 14th, 14th yeah. of this month. Valentine's Day. I think it was somewhere yeah. Chinese citizen. But yeah. They didn't say anything. It was just stated that it was a foreigner, basically. Mm -hmm. So, and from there on, it went on to um, Algeria and Nigeria. 
Okay. So Algeria is the second country in Africa that has. So do we have confirmed cases in Egypt, for instance, and in Algeria? In we don't have. Yeah, we one have, each. We also. have one okay. each so, so far. Which is all imported. But um, okay. but none mm. has been confirmed amongst as, local. Amongst the locals. Oh. And we have though we have in Nigeria we've quarantined about 23, 28 people. 28 people so far. So far currently and today uh, in um, Plato State. We actually quarantined three more people who are supposed to be Chinese people. Uh, suspect. Yes, suspect. You were just quarantining them. Oh, okay. It's not confirmed yeah. yet that they are carrying the disease. So your other story would be on... And the other story is also on um, the fact that um, HWO, WHO, WHO yes. sorry, has stated that coronavirus would strike every country on the planet. Hmm. And so... Because the crisis won't slow down anytime soon, because um, <laughs> this is as a result of everybody having one link, link or, or the, the other, other to China. No, but so this link part is what I don't get. Because today I was watching the news, and they, they, there's a case in the U.S. right California. now, California, mm -hmm. that they have they have actually traced it, and this person that is infected with the coronavirus no has contact. no contact. The so that's the scary part. part. The same thing happened in Hong Kong, and that's what I've been saying mm -hmm. um, is most concerning for me, is mm -hmm. the fact that, so whilst it seems like there's a lot known, it still mm -hmm. feels quite unknown. Yeah. So you have the lady who is in California, you have the three people who were in an apartment mm -hmm. building in Hong Kong, who apparently had had no contact and then had the disease. There is also the lady who apparently was been reinfected and her dog has it. So there's all these little bits of information that... I mean, it just, I still feel like uh, well, there's so Thank God we have, we the, have the experts here. Yes. Hopefully they will tell us what's we happening. We also have um, the w WHO stating that we have about 13 countries in Africa, which they think are the high-risk countries, mm -hmm. still because of the fact that they have links. links. Yeah. Okay. And Nigeria is part of it. They, uh, as well as everything we do is in the, <laughs> is in, is in the China. Mm. <laughs> All right, so I am also taking the, um, what's it called, the, mm. the, yeah. the, the European region. Um, so currently we have about 650 cases mm -hmm. in Italy were confirmed before. New cases add on is 250. Mm -hmm. We have France 38, then new, 20 new cases, Germany 26, mm -hmm. 5 new cases, um, Spain 25, 13 new cases. We have the UK. Uh, the, the, the most hit country is right now is Italy, Italy. and Spain because mm -hmm. Italy has about 17 um, total number of deaths, uh -huh. five new deaths uh -huh. has just occurred wow. as of today. This yeah. is the current statistics. Initially. And yeah, France had two deaths, but they don't yes. have any new cases new of cases. anybody dying and in I France. And I think most of the exports is also from Italy. Yeah. 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 So this Italy people. matter, we have, to, we have to look at it very well. Mm -hmm. Although I wanted to take Middle East because Iran is, 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 is on spot. fire. Yeah. Is on hot. So it has about 26 deaths. With four new deaths this as, as of today, that uh -huh. the you know, prime minister the is deputy. also yes, of, um, is Iran also infected. Also. You know, a day before but he died. Has he died? Really? Yes. That's what you just read. Flu, yes. I have not checked that one yet. I but you know, a day before, a day before he was I'm saying sure that there is hope. <laughs> there's no coronavirus. Blah blah <laughs> blah. <laughs> yeah. I think and the so next day he's but there, and in another news, there's a young man in Nigeria that um, the picture, his pictures has been going around saying that he is the driver of the, the Italian man that, you know, he, he, he drove the, yeah, the, the Italian man. He has come out and it's very important for us to, to look at his face very well because, I mean, like Uti raised, I didn't even think about uh -huh. mob actions. He could have been You understand? Lynched. He Absolutely. could have been lynched, uh, yes. actually. So please, let's avoid, you know, spreading Fake wrong, news. yeah, information. wrong information. Uh -huh. So the guy has come out and he's never been he said, according to him, he's never been to Lagos in the past two years. He's been in Benin. He's from Benin. He's from Medo State. He's not a Yoruba, he's not a Yoruba <laughs> man. So please, 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 let's be very careful and not spread. And I wonder how they took his picture and used it. Ah, it's, it's very scary. It's very so very we'll scary. take a quick break. When we return, Dr. Nesochi Okeke Ibokwe joins us right after the break. Please stay with us.